What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Well, not all turtles are tortoises, but all tortoises are turtles. Let's learn a little bit more about the key factors that determine exactly which these animals are. Most people use the term turtle to reference any reptile with a shell on its back. While that is true, there are multiple differences between a turtle and a tortoise. There are over 350 species of turtle in the world that are all found in the Testudines family. Each species can be split up into two categories, turtle versus tortoise. Turtles are adapted for aquatic life with webbed feet or flippers and a streamlined body. Tortoises, on the other hand, live only on land and are designed for life in extreme climates. So this is what's known as an African spurred tortoise. These prehistoric looking animals are actually from the African mainland and are known as the third largest tortoise in the world. They're built for desert and dry environments. They can actually absorb and store water and nutrients in their body. In this particular species, they can go up to three months without water and up to a year without food if they have a viable water source. Tortoise are extremely hardy and can thrive in some of the harshest climates. They are very active and capable of traveling 300 meters to over 100 kilometers in a day, but will typically burmate for a few months out of the year due to lower temperatures. In case you're wondering, Burmation is similar to hibernation, but it occurs in cold-blooded animals, whereas hibernation occurs in warm-blooded animals. Turtles are made for life underwater, with most turtle species spending 75% of their life in the water. Like the tortoise, turtles will go into burmation during colder months, but underwater. A turtle can store large amounts of oxygen in its tissues and are able to absorb oxygen underwater through a process called cloacolo respiration. Painted turtles and snapping turtles can also switch their metabolism to not require oxygen at all. These special abilities allow turtles to stay underwater longer than any other animal. Both turtle and tortoise have evolved amazing features to help them navigate the world they know with the two most useful features being their shell and their feet. Tortoise are known to have more rounded and dome-shaped shells, whereas turtles wear a thinner and more water dynamic shell. One unique feature about these animals is the back of their shell. So these are actually what you call scoots, these pyramid looking shapes found on the back of the shell. So these are actually made out of the same material as your fingernails and the hair, which is keratin. The height of the scoots grow with the age of the tortoise in what's known as pyramiding. While pyramid shape forms from the scoots of a tortoise, a turtle scoots will actually fall and shed off as they grow. When it comes to their feet, they are well equipped to navigate their ecosystems. As you can see, they have humongous feet. These feet are great for digging and burrowing in the ground um, as their shell. Uh, but they're lined with scales and spurs here, as you can see. Their whole leg is literally great at digging and pushing dirt aside, not only their feet. A turtle's feet are often webbed toes or flippers, which allows them full control underwater and the ability to dig out sediment. They are quite agile in the water and able to evade predators when needed. So far, we have touched on a few major differences between turtle and tortoise. Although there is some exception to these rules, a majority of species can be separated by these basic principles. We hope you learned a little bit more about the Testudines family and what separates a turtle from a tortoise. Turtles actually provide wonderful benefits to the rivers they swim in and the land they roam. To find more ways to help declining populations, check out the bio section for this video. Thanks for watching another episode from Sanders Wildlife. Stay tuned for future episodes, and please remember to like and subscribe to this video. I'm Brandon Sanders. Until next time.